Peter Levesque. I'm a Chief Executive Officer of Modern Terminals here in Hong Kong, which is a port operator for container ships. I arrived in Hong Kong in 1996, so the year before the handover. My arrival into Hong Kong was uh, uh, in the old Kai Tak airport, uh, and the captain of the plane asked me to go to the front of the cockpit for the landing. So I got to see the landing into that famous uh, Kai Tak uh, uh, airport for the first time. And, um, you know, it was, for me, Hong Kong was love at first sight. Well, in 96, it, it, because it was the year before the handover, there was a lot of excitement in the air because of the handover and a lot of uh, um, uncertainty in the air because nobody really knew what Hong Kong's status was going to be like afterward. The uh, concept, uh, the structure of one country, two systems was pretty well laid out. And I think, uh, I think most businesses bought into uh, that as being a positive structure that would work. Uh, the uncertainty, though, was would China follow suit with what it promised, and how would that work for Hong Kong, and would Hong Kong be able to have its level of autonomy and still maintain its, its values and all the attributes, really, that Hong Kong has been famous for over the years. Um, so as exciting as it all was, there was this kind of little level of ambivalence on, you know, will this work? Um, and I think, uh, I think it's proved itself uh, over many years. I was chairman uh, from 2014 and 2015. So I was uh, one of a, a, a few so far that's had a two-year assignment instead of one. And I see this as a time when Hong Kong does have to carve out its role uh, for you know, the next several decades. It has to do that now. It has the opportunity to become uh, a global financial center, a global logistics center, transportation logistics center. Um, and to be a, a creative, uh, innovative type of, a, of a, uh, a hub in the region. But it has to do these things now, and it has to make these decisions on its own. Otherwise, you know, China will make these decisions for it. I think Hong Kong's been so successful for so long that it's easy to, to, to just assume that it's always going to continue that way. Um, and uh, Hong Kong's role in the region has, has been vital for many years. But if Hong Kong doesn't do something to establish itself in these different areas uh, for the long term, then it risks just being another big city in China with a mayor. And my hope is that you know, my kids who grew up here will come back 20 or 30 years from now and see that Hong Kong has remained as vibrant and as entrepreneurial and as relevant in the region as it is today.